and sketched out just a little bit so you can see it through the diagram <coughs> that this is a each piece, since the grid's there to help us, the first one is actually just the cube right there. You're just trying to make it three times the size, so your scale is one to three, your proportion is one to three. So when you think of it from a geometric sense, it'll help out. And so from here, I'm just going to go three spaces to the left and three down, and this is going to make this triangle shape, this angle right here, this parallel section. And since it's a cube, I'm just going to flip it over, and it's going 30 degrees to the right, and builds that piece up. And if you can take a look, just like with the animation, you can see through the bottom, and essentially you're just drawing this cube shape. Uh, the part that has the shaded centerpiece, since this is there's nine squares in here, that center part is going to be the main section. And then, again, that the roof line is 45 degrees, so if you just need to take the first one, cross these diagonals, and that's going to be the 45 degree line. And it's three across, so the middle part's going to be the top part of the roof. And then, when you take a look, this angle's just going to fit right in there. Here's the square and there's the angle. This is equal measure, so the equal measure is going to be right on the back. It's the same same piece, so two, two distances from here. You can kind of see how it plots itself back, and hopefully you can see even just like building it from that section. Once you have that, again, I'm going to be consistent with the shading of the light source. Uh, this is the linear drawing that you've started. Now it's just a matter of shading this all the way through. and we've done the contour line so so far we've kind of done this outline which could represent a contour the linear linear uh, drawing is almost like linear perspective or all these all these lines are now parallel to that 30 degree going to the left and 30 degrees going to the right and now it's just a matter of taking a look at these so if you've made this line relatively uh, heavy and now you're just trying to eliminate that with some of the shading. So here I'm just going to use a, this is a triangle. I have some if you want to try a triangle or the ruler. But that's giving you that, that section. So I'm just going to put the pencil down first and then extend that to that piece. So I'll heavy this up just a little bit so you can see it. And I'm not worried about how heavy because I'm going to shade this right into it. But it'll put it right there. And you have the uh, ruler you can use, so you can place that right there. Here's another parallel line. This part coming across. Gonna fit right there. This one's parallel to that. And just so happens to match this at that angle. And then this piece right up at the top. So there you have this as a linear construction, and now it's just a matter of taking that piece and starting to shade this. And just like with the crosshatch, these lines are, I make them pretty large, those are going with the form. <clears throat> and if I cross them over, and you look very carefully, this shape that it's making is exactly the shape that's at this 30 degree angle. So it's just helping the illusion uh, itself all the way through. Okay, So I'll take a moment here to shade that in. And you can do it freehand at first, and then if you want to use the uh, straight edge, the ruler that you have. But the idea is then to try to look at this as a gradient, and thinking of the six-tone value scale, the light source, the highlight, the quarter-tone, half-tone, base-tone, and reflected light. So this, this is the darker side of this. And from this line, it's going to be the darkest, and then blend in. And as it gets to the edge, it's going to get a little bit lighter. Still dark enough to lose that line. But this is just like a gradient shaded into that side. And then if you can keep a look at the rest of them and do that same idea where you're losing the line, so start on the line to shade it with. And you can bend that piece right over. So it almost forms a ridge. It's just kind of an optical illusion. It keeps that edge at a distance. And it blends from dark to light. 
<coughs> this part that has the lightest, <coughs> you want to take the edge of the pencil and just lose that line and let it fade. <coughs> the brightest part of the object will be the, the color of the paper. So that'll reflect it that way. So right now I'm just using it freehand. <coughs> I can use a piece of paper to put on so I don't smear any of the drawing that I want to keep. And then I can even use the straight edge <coughs> and just line it up and gently push it with a pencil just to give it that direction. And it helps me guide it down so it's the same angle. So it's a nice touch there. that has this square is going to be actually one of the squares. So here I'm just using the straight edge to help me. Gets a little dexterity in there, so it's kind of nice. I hope you build it. down where it rests you may want to make it just a little darker so it gives a slight shadow there. Not really doing the entire cast shadow. 